can you be friends with an ex? It's, it's an age old question and everybody has a take on it. And I too have a take on it because I see it play out <laughs> just about every day. Listen, listen. Sometimes when you have a breakup, them saying to you, hey, let's just be friends, let's stay in touch, it's sometimes just to soften the blow. And I know, and I know that hurts. I know that hurts. You're going to say yes to it because you still want this um, connection to your ex. It's the only thing you have still holding on to them. So, of course, we're in this, like, vulnerable position. Like, okay, like, you know, whatever you have to offer, I'm going to gobble up these breadcrumbs of being a friend. <clears throat> now, other times when they want to keep you in their life, they're they're kind of weighing the pros and cons of this breakup. They may not all the way feel as though they can let you go. So them being friends with you is a way of saying, okay, I don't want to be in this relationship. Like I don't want this whole commitment thing going, but there's a lot about you that I love and I want to keep that in my life. So are they trying to have their cake and eat it too? They don't realize it. it's usually not coming from this terrible place of, of, of them being this villain. I always say that they're, they're not always a villain. <laughs> Sometimes they are, but um, in this case, they're trying to keep that connection. So it's up to you to carve your own path forward. And and on there are two ways to look at this. Number one, you could say absolutely not and get them right into the place of feeling what it's like to lose you because that emotional connection is a lot. It's safety for them. So if they lose all of that, they're going to really struggle at a very very deep level quickly quickly but if you can't do that because you're not in that position and let's be honest a lot of us are not in the position to be strong enough to say I'm cutting you out of my life you can use this tool as a way to work back because it is sometimes a path back together so if you stay in this position and kind of stay in contact at a very low level if it gets to be too much for you or it's allowing them to have the best of both worlds and they're not working their way back to you then you have to cut it off and say no this is not going to work I can't do this because the pain of staying connected but not moving back together becomes excruciating to where you can't do it anymore so I will never tell you what to do and what not to do but I will say be cautious about this because it's probably going to work for them at a lot of different levels and it may not work for you. So once you realize it's not working for you, cut those ties because nothing gets a person in their feels quicker than you saying, okay, you want this breakup? Now here's what it feels like. Here you go. Now sit in that and they're going to have a very tough time. So can you be friends with an ex? Oh, not for years after a breakup where there's no romantic feeling anymore and people have kind of moved away from that. Being friends with an ex is always dangerous. Someone always has feelings. There's always someone still in love. So, you know, do I think it can be possible? Yeah, a very small percentage of the time, but it takes years to get there. So uh, that's my, um, that's my take. <laughs> I'd love to hear what everybody else feels about this.